morning, everyone. It's Kay Kaltop, and welcome to a Stampin' Chat with Kay. We are going to focus on masculine cards today. And I just realized as I was about to go live that I forgot to turn off the notifications on my phone. So hopefully I won't be getting any phone calls. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed on that. I also forgot to put the cat out, so the cat may come meowing. Oh my goodness. It's it's an exciting day though. Did you know that um, we went wedding dress shopping last night? Maybe not. I told a few people, but my daughter, the very, the number five dress that she tried on was the winner. And it was so funny because as she was trying on dresses and coming out and modeling, um, you know, she had a pretty much blank look on her face. She wasn't really, you know, it wasn't really, uh, I don't know, she's pretty good at hiding her feelings. But I tell you what, when she put that, the dress that was it on, she walked out of the dressing room and her whole face just lit up. She could not help it. It was so cute. So we, we were successful in our quest for a dress. And then the other thing that's kind of fun to note about today, February 11th, 2020, is 26 years ago today, at this very moment, I was in labor. So my my eldest was born on February 11th, 1994, so she's 26 today. So after all of the dress shopping last night, we went out to a really nice restaurant and we celebrated her 26th birthday. And uh, it was really fun. Oh, so. I don't know, is anybody making comments? I am not seeing anything here. My, I don't know, what did I do wrong? Oh, there we go, I got some comments now, yay! All right, so I will do a drawing on this video. It will be in, let's see, today is Tuesday, it will be on Thursday, so I'll pick two names, and the way you get into the drawing is just make comments, tell me where you're watching from, uh, telling, tell me if you enjoy making masculine cards because that's gonna be our focus today. What else can you tell me? Oh, you can tell me that you shared. So if you share this video on your timeline or maybe in a couple of groups, that would be great. Let me know that. So welcome. Hi, Bonnie. It's good to see you here. Yvonne told me she's already shared. Thank you, Yvonne. And then we have uh, Roz and Philomena watching. Wonderful. Jean is here from North Dakota. Thank you. You're such a loyal, loyal follower. I really appreciate it. All right. So we have a lot to cover today. I mean, the cards that we're making are pretty easy, but there's just so much I want to show you. Um, first of all, the mailbag. We have a beautiful card made by one of my Downline members. I have the sweetest Downline members. They just are sharing things with me all the time. This one is from Dawn Michaels, and we have Spring Fling coming up. And so when she sent her registration in to me with her payment, she wanted to share a card with me. So I'm going to share it with you today. It's just beautiful. So here it is. And I love it. I hope you do too. She uses the, what I love about it is you could do any sentiment right here. And then what she did is she just did a cutout with the nested labels. And then she just did a piece of designer paper in the background. That's what's so fun. Our designer paper is so incredible. Just, you know, use your designer series paper from Stampin' Up! as the main focus on your card. Then all you have to do is add a little sentiment like this, and of course she's so good. She added a little touch of lace here along the top, and it's just beautiful. And then the inside is just decorated with a little strip of paper, because you want to have something on the inside of your cards just to kind of carry over the feel from the outside into the inside. So thank you so much, Dawn. I love it, and it's gonna go onto my display board. All right, so I'm gonna put that aside. Then I wanna share with you the, I'm a little behind on this. Okay, so we all get behind on paper pumpkin. I'm just gonna say it, but I got caught up. So let me show you a couple of paper pumpkin things. This is from the, it was the January 2020 kit, and it was all about Valentine's. So this is what it looks like. This is the little, uh, put together flyer that comes in your kit to show you how to assemble it. So I'm going to share with you how I assembled 
So we have little treat holders. They look like this. They're little mini envelopes. And the envelopes are beautifully decorated with foils. And they will fit a Ghirardelli treat perfectly. Or some other treats. Um, so that's up to you what you want to fill them with. But they're really cute. They make very darling gifts that you could leave for co-workers or leave about the house for family members to find on Valentine's Day. So I love those. And then also there were some little 3x3 three three cards that we could make. So here's a couple of those. And they had the, um, you know how Stampin' Up! is doing a lot of little bee things. In fact, the birthday card that I gave my daughter last night was a bee card. A little bee card. In fact, I'll show you that. Will I be showing you that? No, I will not be showing you that. I don't have it here. But here's the back side. It's in an envelope and so it's decorated with a little bee that says, Be Mine. I love the play on words. Stampin' Up! has always been kind of famous for that. Um, it came with a really awesome set of stamps. One of the nice things about Paper Pumpkin is if you don't have a very large or a very good variety of Stampin' Up! sets, you can get Paper Pumpkin for three months, six months, a year, and in every every Paper Pumpkin you get a stamp set. So that kind of helps your collection. And then the nice thing is if you sign up for the March Paper Pumpkin, because, oh no, not the March one, the April Paper Pumpkin, the March deadline's already passed, but starting today you can sign up for the April Paper Pumpkin. I, I hope I've got that right. No, I've got that wrong. It's the March Paper Pumpkin. Oh, I am so sorry, you guys. So starting today, is it today? I'm so confused. Anyway, I just got the update this morning from Stampin' Up! And what they're going to be doing is for the very next Paper Pumpkin that you can sign up for, you get a free stamp set and an extra free stamp set. So there will be two stamp sets in the next Paper Pumpkin. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, goodness. Just one of those mornings. I didn't have my, my homework done properly. All right, so in addition to regular cards that you can make from Paper Pumpkin based on the design that Stampin' Up! provides, you can also take some of those same elements and create alternative cards, which I want to share with you. So here's one that has that really cool uh, brick walkway sort of courtyard type thing that you see over in Europe. That's the embossed background. And then it has a little portion of the decorated envelope right here. And then a little heart, and it says, thank you. So this is a card that you could use all year long. And then the second one here, it has some Valentine colors, but you could use this one in other parts of the year, too. So it uses that, you know, the heartfelt, uh, it, this, this whole set kind of coordinates with the heartfelt bundle, so everything kind of works together. So there's the designer series paper from that set. And then uh, for you with love. Again, this could be, you know, doesn't have to be Valentine's, but this, it does look a little Valentine's, I admit. But those are a couple of alternative full size card ideas for you if you're not really into the three by three cards. All right, so now I've got the paper pumpkin taken care of. The next thing I want to do is share with you what we did at our last demonstrator meeting. So our last demonstrator meeting was this past Thursday, and we always make cards at our demo meetings, and we have so much fun. So I'm going to share with you the four cards that we made, and here they are. They all use the stamp set that comes with the project kit called Seriously the Best. So this is the project kit. So I, we have one of these made up that everybody looked at, and the stamp set that goes with this kit is featured on all of the cards. So let me share with you the cards. The first card we made was this one. It's so pretty and cute. Don't you guys think? I love it, love it, love it. And, it, and of course what we're doing here is we're using the Poppy's Designer Series paper back here. So pretty, that paper. Oh my goodness, if you don't have it yet, you're going to want to get it. Here is another, all, in fact, all of the cards feature the Poppy Designer Series paper. I think it's, oh, I can never remember the names, but you guys have the books. You can look it up. So here's another one. 
it says hello there or hello friend so cute so that's just a big punch out so you can stamp it on a piece of whisper white scrap and punch it out with your two and a quarter inch circle punch and pop it on a card it's so cute then the next one we did was a thank you card so nice big sentiments in this seriously the best stamp set so it looks like this giving you guys all a little time to check them out. And then the final card we did was a congratulations card. You did it card. This is a good one to have on hand for graduations. And of course you could switch out the colors and maybe do school colors. So that one is here. So we gotta think about that. You know, spring is creeping up on us. It's staying light until 5.30 in Minnesota. <laughs> so spring is on the way. So cute. Don't you just love it? So you'll also notice the other thing that we used is um, the sweetly stitched. There, We have a lot of the sweetly stitched um, here too. The sweetly stitched dies that are in the newest uh, January through June 2020 catalog. Well, of course, we did the kit. So I'm going to share with you the, real, the kit real quick. The kit comes in a box like this very sturdy and so for again this is a great option um, for those of you that don't like to leave home without stamps you can take a little project kit like this and then when you have some downtime whether you're on vacation or whether you're just going up to the camper or the cabin you can you know sit at the picnic table and finish out some of your cards so I love to do that because I don't leave home without them and so uh, this is a great little set and it holds all the cards so it's 16 cards ah, I can't get it open you do have to buy the stamp set separately it's not an all-inclusive kit but look at that there's a whole bunch of cards in here so I'm gonna set that aside and show you the cards that come in this project kit so here's one hello friend I think you saw that at the top of the box when I was holding up the box and then here is another one. Congrats, you did it. Another. Got to keep those graduation cards in mind. Of course, you know, we are slowly getting out of the graduation phase. Now it's mostly we're only invited if uh, neighbors have a graduation. And here is I. I miss you a lot. I'll be missing my husband a lot soon. He's going to be traveling for work a lot more, so... I don't know. Does that just mean I get more inter uninterrupted stamping time? <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> All right. And then the next one is a thank you card. Thanks. Seriously, you're the best. And you guys are. Seriously. The best. So thank you so much for watching today. I really, really appreciate it. All right. And... You know what, since we're focusing on masculine cards, I've often had people tell me, oh, you know, when's Stampin' Up! gonna come out with more masculine cards? I mean, seriously, you guys, I get this question all the time. So I just wanna share with you, they actually do have a lot of masculine cards. I think we just aren't paying attention to them. So I'm just gonna show you real quick, in the most current, newest catalog, this is the, um, January through June 2020 mini catalog. I have it marked. There's a whole bunch. They start, I mean, I know women golf too, but we kind of tend to think of it as men. A lot of men golf. I, I'm a golfer. I love to golf. But you notice they didn't have a woman golfer on this set. It was all men. So it's masculine. Unless they've changed the definition. But it starts with the country club sets. And then, of course, it's the whole product suite. So you get all of this wonderful stuff. Then turn the page. We're still looking at all the card ideas for Country Club. Flip it over, and you've got On the Dock. So that's masculine. Flip it over again, and you've got, well, what guy do you know that doesn't like to barbecue? And what woman doesn't like it when their guy barbecues? Less work for us, right? So here's the barbecue stuff. And then, of course, I mean, I know women like doing these kind of outdoor sports, you know, motorcycling, pickup truck, truck stuff, and these uh, 4x4s or all-terrain vehicles, whatever you want to call them. 
But you know, honestly, even when the women are involved in this, they're usually riding, at least when I've observed. So again, pedal to the metal is kind of masculine. Then we have do the impossible. So that is more, again, you know, women do this too, but again, you can make this very masculine if you've got a really athletic guy. My husband's so athletic, he wins at everything he does. I'm not even kidding. One of the reasons I married him, seriously, is when we were on a date, we were out ice skating on a lake, and he climbed a tree with his ice skates on. No, the tree was not in the lake. It was next to the shore. But what I'm saying is it was a really tall tree, and he went really high, and I was, like, really impressed with his athletic abilities. <laughs> and he could climb a tree with ice skates. All right, and then another... You know, we also associate nature sets with masculine. So the Mountaineer stamp set is kind of masculine, in my humble opinion. So there's there's your, your masculine sets from the January through June mini catalog. And then, of course, the, the regular catalog, which is what we're diving back into today. I'm going to open it up. It starts with the Come Sail Away, which is what we're going to do. But I'm going to stand up and flip through this. Hopefully you'll be able to see. So there's all the stuff with Come Sail Away. But if you look on the next page, we've got To a Good Man. I'm going to flip it over. We've got Rooted in Nature, which again is pretty masculine. Um, yes, you can give these to women, but again, just stereotypical. Trees, flowers, leaves, wood, all kind of guy stuff fishing, dad stuff. Here's uh, more lake stuff over here. Again, very masculine. I love this stamp set, Country Road. And then we have uh, some texture stamps. Great for masculine cards. Oh, am I, am I not holding this correctly? Let me flip it over. Um, high Tide, kind of masculine. And then this C set, it's a more nautical masculine set. So again, these are all some things in the regular catalog that could be um, presumed to be masculine. So you've got the Let It Ride, the Geared Up Garage, another kind of grungy background set, great for masculine card making. And then, of course, all of your background stamps can be considered uh, easy to use with masculine cards. So these are all just very, I mean, look at all these pages, you guys. So yes, Stampin' Up! does do masculine cards. And, and they have a lot of masculine stamp sets available. So we're going to explore that option right now. So I'm going to flip the camera down. Give me just a second and we'll get that started here. All right. So the cards we're making today, let me grab them. Here they are. And I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but in the cards that I made a couple of days ago on a Facebook Live, I used this braided burlap trim. And that is in our January through June mini catalog. And look at how awesome it looks on these uh, sailing, or what is it called? Sailing home with the sailing home bundle. So we're going to do that. And, I, and you'll notice how I spread it open. Let me grab the card that I did the other day. It's right here. And I used this same trim on this pineapple card. And it looks all together different when you leave it together. But when you open up the edges, I mean, it just looks so rustic and, and fibrous and awesome. And it's perfect with the Sailing Home stamp set. So I'm a big fan of this braided burlap trim. So we're going to set this aside for a second. And I'm going to show you what we're all using here. So we're going to use the Sailing Home Bundle. So that includes the stamp set here, along with the dies that are here. And the only dies that we're actually using are is this one right here for these particular stamps. This is a card that we're going to be making at Spring Fling here in Minnesota in a month and a half or so. And uh, we're also going to be using the Come Sail Away Designer Series paper. Love it. So again, all of these are nice masculine looks, Have a, has a nice masculine look to it. And then um, one of the things that I recommend getting, when Stampin' Up! offers these Memories and More cards, I recommend that you get this because it's such a great 
item for fast card making. It doesn't have to be for making with scrapbooks. So I just want to show you that you can take a little um, card like this and it says life is better when we are together. I mean, what a great anniversary card for your guy. So you can take the same card design that we're doing today. Here's one that's half finished. Let me see. Right. Oh, no. let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Here. So here's one I'm, I have half finished. I don't have the sentiment on here yet. But look at this. You can just put this in. And then you could add some of that awesome rope kind of, you know, the, the braided, what would you call it? The braided burlap trim behind this, you know, pop it up. And uh, you've got a finished card. So I really, really like the Memories and More card packs for making quick cards or for using the cards as backgrounds on your cards. They're wonderful. So that is a definite add-on item if you're considering getting this bundle. So let's go ahead and start putting this together. The first thing that we're going to do is some stamping. And all of our stamping is going to be done on, well, not all of it, because, yeah, all of it is. All of it's done on just Whisper White paper measured out three by four. And I'm going to make two cards from start to finish. And then I have another card here that I'm trying to finish up. So I'll actually be stamping three times. So you'll certainly get the idea of how to do this. And then we're going to use two different colors of ink. We're going to use our uh, Knight of Navy ink. And then we're going to use, I have to get some boxes out of the way here. We're going to use Balmy Blue. So let me go ahead and grab a piece of scrap paper here. And we'll do our stamping. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the lighthouse. So I'm just inking it up in the Knight of Navy. And we're going to stamp this so that the top of the lighthouse is maybe a half inch or so from the top of this, um, from the top of this three by four inch paper panel. So there's one. We're gonna ink that up again. I'm gonna stamp all three here. This is so quick and easy to make. Here's two. And our final one. Whoops, I have to straighten this out here so I'm, I know I've got everything straight. Okay, looking good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use balmy blue ink and we're going to give um, some waves coming up to where this lighthouse is and to do the waves I'm actually using another stamp set oh, and it's across the room I'll run grab it luckily for you guys my across the room is very quick to get to so we're going to use the gallery grunge stamp set and we're going to use this image right here as our waves so let me grab that we're inking it up in balmy blue. And we're just going to add add some waves right here. Look at that. Just like that. We have we do not have a lighthouse floating in outer space. We've we've given it some ground slash waves. So we're do the same thing for these other two. And we'll ink this one up just the same. There we go. Now let's get some birds in the sky. So we're going to use this little stamp right here. And we're going back to the Knight of Navy ink. And we're just going to stamp some birds up here. Very quick and easy. Bird's done. All right, now what we want to do is we're just, we're basically done stamping these particular panels. So I'm going to set those aside. Be careful when you have freshly stamped images that you don't touch them for a bit. Give them a time to dry and soak into the paper. Um, and then I've pre-cut 
some panels here. And this is out of balmy blue paper, and that's from the die set that comes with the bundle. And we're going to we're going to make a card that says, Let Hope Be Your Anchor Through the Storms of Life. And then we're also going to do uh, two birthday cards. So I'm going to stamp the birthday cards first. So we'll just stamp this. And if you're wondering where this happy birthday comes from, it's a celebration stamp set. And it's called... I think it's called Sending You Thoughts. I actually don't have that here. I just had the stamps, the stamps all set up and ready to go. But I believe it's Sending You Thoughts. And then we're going to take this other one. And again, inking it up with Knight of Navy ink. We're just going to set this in here. And it fits in there just perfectly. Let hope be your anchor through the storms of life. There we go. All right, so the next step to doing this card is we need some card bases. So our card bases are made with balmy blue paper. This is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I've already done that. I've got them both ready to go here. And then we're going to need some designer series paper from the Come Sail Away designer series paper pack. And both of these designer series papers are cut at four by five and a quarter. Let me make sure I've got everything right here. I think I do. Um, and it's really up to you which side you want to use. So you could use this side or this side. They both look great. And then here's some little lighthouses. And then on this side we have uh, these awesome stripes. So I'm always drawn to the darker colors. But you know what, maybe just for kicks, I should make one that's lighter. So I think we're gonna go, just for kicks, we're gonna do this side. So I'm gonna take that off and we're gonna put the, the snail on this side. And I would normally use glue, but I've been working um, on spring fling things and my glue is in the other room where I have it set up in front of our TV and I've been watching some TV while I've been prepping cards for spring fling. So I don't have my glue handy, but I have I have my snail, so that works great. And then what do we got here? Well, since, you know what, I might as well do two light cards because since we have stripes on this card, let's go ahead and use the lighthouses on this card. So I'm going to flip it over. And again, any one of the sides will work for this designer series paper. They're all fabulous, and they all have sort of a masculine feel to them. There we go. And now we need to do the inside panels, of course. So we've got four by five and a quarter. These are just your standard inside panels that you use in your standard Stampin' Up! cards. And we are going to need some strips of designer series paper to coordinate the inside and the outside. So here they are. And it's a half inch by four inches. And again, we're just going to add a little snail here to the bottom of these whisper white panels. And then we're going to set these little strips right on there. So there's one, and then here's the second one that features the little lighthouses, and there we go. Oh, you know, I've got a little, I don't like that, it's a little bit of a kink. I don't think I set that down just perfectly, so I'm going to grab my little mini cutter. That's our uh, new demonstrator starter kit special. I'm just going to trim that up so everything is nice and even. All right, there we go, perfectly trimmed and ready to go. And you know what, this one's got the same problem. I must have cut my, one of the panels didn't cut get cut quite right. There we go. Now everything is evened up. And we're gonna put these into the inside panels of our cards. So again, keep things nice, loose, and flowing when you're card making. You don't need to put snail like crazy all over the place. It's just kind of wasting it. So I just do one strip at the top, and you'll notice anytime you get a really fancy card, it's very loose and flowing and elegant. So, so yeah, the bottom isn't attached, but it's 
I think it's more beautiful that way. So now we're gonna do the same thing over here. Oh, and I, oh, you guys, look what I did. I put the wrong paper. So I'm gonna carefully lift this up. Yay. Add another strip of snail at the top. And now I'm going to pay attention and make sure that the stripes go with the stripes. So let's do that. And now we're gonna do this side. So we'll set this in, give that a press. All right, and then I wanna get you all, cause you see we're, we've got pieces here to make three cards. So I'm going to show you another card that I've got prepped in advance. So we're all caught up now. Everything is the same on all three cards. I just did this in advance. And now what we need is three panels of Knight of Navy. And these are all, here we go. These are all cut at three and one eighth by four and one eighth because we want just a skinny little border around these images. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our snail. I'm gonna put some snail on the back of all of these panels. And then we're gonna center them over this. Now, I do need to add a piece of white paper here so that I can see what I'm doing when I'm putting this on here. So the best way to do it is to grab it, kitty corner, and then you, when you put it onto your panel, you're looking to the top right, to the top, to the bottom left, and making sure those have nice uh, 90 degree edges, and then the rest of your card will be looking nice as well. So we're gonna set this on. Well, that one didn't turn out. And I think it's because part of it got down before I had a chance. So let me do this one again. There we go. Just hoover it over the top. Give yourself a second to find that exact match the way you want your card to look. I think nice, sharp, crisp lines on your card making just adds so much to the professionalism of your card. There we go. So I'm going to flip that down. And now these are all going to go on your card bases. So we've got our three card bases here. And we're just going to make those flat. So this is going to be an easy card to mail. So there's no dimensionals on this part. We are going to add some dimensionals, but we're not going to be doing double dimensionalies on this card. So just set it in to the left side more. And what you're, what you're kind of, I don't know, doing is... Just set it in like this, wherever you feel like it looks the best. Press that in. And we'll do this for all of them here. There we go, and the final one. Uh-oh, where did my other card piece go? Well, what the, what the hoo hey, as my daughter always says. <laughs> Oh, here it is. It's like, where did it go? I couldn't have went far. There we go. And we'll set this one in as well, wherever you feel like it looks good. You could make this even, even. You could put it down here so there's, you know, there's more up there, or you could go upwards and have it more down here. Almost anywhere you put it on this side is going to look good. So just trust your instincts. Mine is more or less even, top and bottom, but it doesn't matter. Give it a press from the back side. And now it's there's not much left to do with this card. So we're going to take some of this, um, this wonderful trim, and I can never remember the name of things, but it's our braided burlap trim. So what you wanna do is imagine you're gonna have some coming up here and you're gonna have some coming down here. So how much is that? Well, that's about five inches. So let's go ahead and cut three five inch strips. So there's the first one. Then just hold it up to the next piece, cut another one, and we'll do one more. And you can always trim this up too. But what we're going to do now is we're going to tape this trim to the back of our sentiments. So I'm going to just again put this at an angle onto my sentiment, flip it over, 
And just because for sake of real ease, we're just gonna use some scotch tape here on the back. So we're gonna do this to all of them. So we're gonna go from the top right to the bottom left. Just center that in, flip it over. And I think I really did too much. I don't think I would have needed to do five inches. Let me grab a scissors here. I got a little bit too long of a piece of tape. I think four inches would have been fine because I have a funny feeling I'm gonna be cutting this down. It looks pretty long to me. So again, here's your happy birthday. Put that up. Kind of get a, you know, kitty corner on there. Flip it over. And add your scotch tape to settle that in. All right, so now let's bring in what we're doing here. So we have to decide which ones are going to be birthday and which one's going to be kind of the hope card. So, you know, I think I'm going to go with all of these knots as the hope card. Doesn't that look good? I like it. All right. And because I think this looks a little long, we're just going to trim about a half inch off each end. So we might as well do that to all of them. I'm sorry, you guys. You probably should have done four inches, not five. So learn from my mistakes. There we go. So that's a sad little waste of trim. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open this up a little bit. So to do that, you just pull it apart with your, your fingers and you have this really awesome, look at that, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So let's, let's do it here with this one. I'll open, push that away, but just, uh, it just goes so quick and it looks so beautiful and so rustic and gorgeous and oh my gosh, I just love it. So then we're going to take some dimensionals and you're just going to add two dimensionals back here. That's really all you need. And here's the hope card. So we're just going to set this in right here. And press it down oh my goodness how beautiful that's all there is to it so let's quickly finish these other ones here so again we're just going to add a couple dimensionals back here and this is a birthday card so again we'll just set it so that you know the edge of your I like to take the edge of the die and make it a little bit even here with the edge of this paper. So there's that one, and then finally this last one here. So you just pull apart on this trim. Oh my gosh, everybody has to have this trim, okay? I'm telling you right now, it is amazing. It looks so good on masculine cards, and so good on like your vintage cards or your nature cards or anything like that. So now we're gonna grab the dimensionals. And look at that, you guys, we've made three cards. So awesome. All right, so here they are. Move some things out of the way so you can get a good look at them. A couple of birthday cards and then a hope card and all of them lovely and masculine. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. I truly appreciate you. You guys are amazing. I mean to say amazing. I love it. I love, I read every one of your comments. So if you'd like to make any comments, don't hesitate. I will like them or comment back if you have some questions. We'll talk to you soon. And um, my next Facebook Live should be on Friday morning. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.